Oh, hell yeah! Woo! Man, that torque storm sound good going by. Oh, give me a rev! <laughs> Golly! Now you guys sit here and tell me if you saw this truck going down the road, would you at all think this truck is going to make the noise that's about to come out of this thing? Oh, well, I'll be dipped in shit and rolling breadcrumbs. <laughs> What's up Mopar fam? We are back on Project Storm as you can see and as you heard, Storm sounds like an insane storm. That is a loud blow off valve, not even gonna lie. But Storm is done. As most of you guys know, we took it to Moparty. We uh, took it up to show it off in the Torque Storm booth. Made the trip all the way from Georgia to Kentucky to Bowling Green for Mo Party. Truck drove perfectly fine all the way up there and back. Made the trip good. And uh, we're pretty much all done with the tuning. Now we just got to try to get some time and actually run it on the track. And we're going to try to make that happen before the season closes up. Not really sure, but we're going to definitely try as my hometown track here actually has closed up. And is no longer so the closest track now to me is going to be about two hour drive but we're going to really really try to get storm on the track so we can get some time comparisons from when it was bone stock but other than that guys there we go she is running she's a mean storm and uh we're gonna show it off here a little bit we're gonna do a couple flybys down this little road right here we're sitting at and uh just kind of have fun with Storm for a second. All right, so here we go. Project Storm, got it nice and clean. We're about to go have some fun, make some little passes down this uh, little back road. For the people that is just tuning in to the channel for the first time, this is Project Storm. We have a bunch of videos on the Torque Storm supercharger install, the meth injection install, along with the boost gauges and AFR gauges. Lots of videos on the truck, so if you missed them, go check them out. There's tons and tons of videos of us installing all this, all the goodies onto Project Storm. So, Project Storm is a 2012 Ram 1500 5.7 Hemi. This is a 4x4 crew cab and uh, all stock motor, stock camshaft, stock transmission, still has a stock converter. Only thing that's been changed and upgraded on Project Storm is obviously the Torque Storm Supercharger. We have the Snow Performance Water Meth Injection Kit installed. And as far as our fueling goes, we're running the stock pump with a set of FIC 650 injectors. And that's pretty much it besides some good tuning. So pretty simple install. Truck runs and drives great. We're having fun with it. And again, most of you guys know we have no in, no intercooler on this truck. This is all straight relying on water meth injection. We was trying to keep this as simple and easy to do as possible for somebody wanting to tackle this in their driveway and not worrying about all the hassle of running plumbing for an intercooler setup. So our water meth nozzle is right here and then we are utilizing 
the factory window washer reservoir tank. This is where we're putting our snow boost juice, which is a 50-50 mix of water and meth. And then we have our boost signal sensor right here. And this is running two manifold uh, vacuum to pick up vacuum and boost. So I think we have it set to come on around four PSI. So when the truck sees four PSI boost, it kicks on the water meth pump and it starts spraying the water meth injection mix right into the intake manifold and that is all there is to it and then over here we have the plx wideband gauge we have the mopar auto meter boost gauge and then the green light right here is our water meth injection uh, notifier light so when our meth injection kicks on the light turns green and lets you know that the water meth system is activated so there you go like i said pretty easy deal again we have lots of videos on the series of project storm uh, like the supercharger install the injector install the meth injection install the gauges and the pillar install there's a handful of videos that goes over all of that stuff so let's do what we came here to do we're gonna crank up storm we're gonna get a couple little passes going down the street here and uh get a couple flybys kind of out here in the middle of nowhere right now just the way i like it down here in georgia and we're just gonna kind of go straight down here get some flybys i'm gonna go down here on the big end and uh, let my buddy rip on down here and get a flyby we should be able to hear the supercharger and the blow-off valve pretty good as he goes by us and then uh we'll even get some inside footage i'll get in the truck and we'll do a pull with me inside the truck and have some fun so hell yeah let's go put the old torque storm to work so i'm back here probably a good eighth mile on this little back road I'm going to give my buddy the, the wave to send old Storm down the road. Let's get a Torque Storm flyby. Here we go. Send it! Oh, hell yeah! Woo! Man, that Torque Storm sound good going by. Man, I'm telling you, I love the sound of the Torque Storm Centrifugal. It, it's like the best of both worlds. It's like, a, it's like a centrifugal supercharger noise that you obviously get, but you also get like that turbo noise. It's crazy. I love it. Here he comes again. Oh, give me a rev! <laughs> Golly! Now you guys sit here and tell me if you saw this truck going down the road, would you at all think this truck is going to make the noise that's about to come out of this thing? Oh! My God! Get you some! Project Storm, getting it done. This sounded good going by, dude. This sounded good. You want to talk a little bit? I, 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 let, I, I let off <coughs> a little bit after back there. I could have kept going, but yeah. I let out of it. I think when you're in here with it, I'm gonna keep it going. Right. All right, I'm going to ask you a couple easy questions. All right. You ready? All right, Project Storm is finally done. Now we just got to track it. But between bone stock and today, is there a big difference to you? Oh, my God. It's night and day. It's, it's, it's beautiful. That's all I can say. 
you've been daily in this truck every day to work since it's been done now just daily driving it i mean how's it feel to you as far as just having fun daily in it to work it, whatever daily driving feels like a normal truck you don't really notice it much until you get into it but once you get into it you got that power that you've been looking for it's it's amazing so again obviously when we ran this truck stock we ran, what was it running like 15? 15 7, 15 708 at 87 miles an hour that's what i thought so we don't know what it's going to run yet we are not changing anything as far as tires go whenever we can hit the track but i think we both would be happy if we seen a 13 second pass maybe a high 12 i don't know if that's possible four by four stock you know it's still got the stock exhaust manifolds it's got catalytic converters it's got you know it does have the Flowmaster mufflers but it's got a lot of stock stuff stock cam just a supercharger guys that's it and we're running about on our logs we've been peaking what seven 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 and a half seven seven and a half psi all right i'm gonna hop in the truck and we're gonna get an inside view of storm making a hit down here on this little back road so hell yeah let's get it all right we are about to make a little hit here in storm and uh i don't know if you guys can hear that torque storm sitting there doing her thing but she sounds good all right let's give it some hail <laughs> Dude, this road is gnarly. I don't. We, we would get to like 90 right there. I honestly, I didn't pay attention to the speedometer. <laughs> yeah, dude, I think that was like 90, man. I was too busy Holy watching. Holy moly, this road is like not very straight either. <laughs> I was too busy watching the AFR. There you go. Got to watch the AFRs, baby. Got to watch the AFRs. But now that I know we're safe on that. Oh yeah, she's wanna, running, man. She I want to go back and hit it and see what mile per hour we are getting up to. By the time we hit this part of the pavement. Now we're just kind of cruising right here. And the truck cruises really good, guys. It don't make a whole lot of noise inside. You hear the supercharger, but it's not a lot of noise. You don't really notice it too much. The good thing about Storm is we can get away with stuff like this a lot easier because it's not as loud. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I do this in Frostbite one pass and I already got the cops out here. Yeah, as you can see that road, I'm going to zoom down real quick. It's got a pretty good bend in it right when you get about an eighth mile out, roughly. So it's, it's, a, little, it's a little gnarly. It's a little gnarly. All right, here we go. I'm ready when yep. you're ready. All right. Right at 90. Oh, this road is so rough, it's hard to hold the camera still. Yeah, I thought it was getting to about 90. Right at 90 when it changes to the new pavement. All right, guys, that was a little gnarly, especially when you're the passenger. <laughs> I was trying to hold the camera as still as possible, but this road is like windy up and down, all kinds of craziness. But we just did about 90 miles an hour down it somehow. I don't know, but we made it happen. But however, we can smell the brakes because we had to get on the brakes pretty hard. Um, but there you go. Storm is up, running. We just got to get some time and hit the track and see what she does. Again, you know, we'll be, we'll be stoked if we run mid, low 13s, maybe a high 12. I don't know if the weather's good enough. A high 12 is very doable. Um, 
but we ran high 15s mid 15s high 15s bone stock if we could knock off a couple seconds which i think is definitely possible the truck is pulling hard and we are happy with it no doubt we're happy with it i know ryan's happy I'm with it ecstatic <laughs> <laughs> so that's it today guys don't forget hit the thumbs up button like the video throw me a comment down there tell me what you think about the truck and about project storm overall and uh as always stay safe out there guys we'll see you on the next one